Hello guys, how you all doing? It's a girl Fina again. I'm in the house again and today I'm smiling all over as you can see. My face is so bright. No more crying. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna cry again. Nah. It's not gonna happen. Nah. I'm sorry for crying the other day. <laughs> yes, today, today, today I am here again to just be here as usual. So thank you for coming around. If you are new to the channel, please hit that, that button, that button written subscribe. Just hit it and hit the notification bell below. Hit it so that whenever else I upload a video, you'll be the first to be notice, notified. Yes. And if you are not new, my old subscribers, thank you for coming back again. Thank you for checking on me always. Thank you for supporting and loving me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So guys, uh, today I'm going to discuss similar thing to what I discussed last because um, today, not long ago, I got a call from a friend. I got a call from a friend, a Facebook friend. Actually, I don't know this person. I don't know him. He's a guy. I don't know him, but he said that he got my number from my friend. A schoolmate that he got my number from there and uh, he said Fina I watched your video that is the video I uploaded last about about what I saw my true life story as a little girl so he told me I watched your video and um, I felt moved I said okay thank you I, I really didn't upload it for you to be moved. I upload it for people to watch and learn that that you own today doesn't mean you own tomorrow. And learn how to treat others around. How to handle people around. Because you see this to him. This, this right, this is my right hand. He cannot do without this. And this left hand cannot equally do without this. So they need to work together as a team for things to move on right. He said he knows that, but he has something to share with me. I said, what is that? He said, um, there is a sister of his. So he said to me, Ma, I have a sister who has been married for years now. And uh, the, the husband is late, died last year. And since that last year, my sister has been passing through hell. I said, okay, what is it? He told me that, the mother-in-law with the sister-in-laws are maltreating her. To the extent that she lost the baby she was carrying in her womb then. Oh, I felt so touched. I said, okay, what do you want me to do? He said, he doesn't want me to do anything. But seeing my video makes him feel and he decided to discuss with me if there is any advice I can give to them and I asked him what is the sister still doing there then he said they refused my sister going with the kids and they are equally maltreating the kids saying that they are not even sure if the kids belongs to the sister and my sister I bluntly refused to live without her children mm. What a mother i know it's not easy it's not really easy to live without your kids in the hands of those that hate you and your children it's not easy because you can't tell what will come out of those children and i said to him okay please can you allow me to record this he said is it to put it on the internet too i said yes he said, okay, if you want to record, it's okay, but please don't mention our name. I said, I won't. I won't mention it, but first of all, I will advise you. I will advise you to tell your sister to me. I asked him, are you guys Christian? He said, yes. I told him, tell your sister to go to her pastor. Go to her pastor, go to the mother-in-law's best friend, go to the mother-in-law's 
bro, uh, relative that likes her at all. That there's no way everybody in that family, if the immediate family hates her, there's no way extended families, everybody will equally hate her unless if there's something your sister did. He said, okay. I told him, tell your sister, go to the only person, relative of the mother-in-law that likes her, go to the mother-in-law's best friend if that one also likes her then to the pastor she should plead with them to go and meet the mother-in-law and she had to apologize even if she's right she had to go on her knees cry to the mother-in-law to have mercy i know if this lady didn't do anything as he claimed if he didn't do anything the mother-in-law will not forgive because there's nothing to forgive he was still, she was still hiding her heart over her, but she had to do that for peace sake. And she's not going to beg to stay, but she's going to beg to go. Uh, no, so I asked him, what about the husband's um, um, belongings? Doesn't he have any, any property, any money left for the family to feed from? He said, Everything the husband left behind. And the husband was a wealthy person. And everything the husband left behind was taken away by the same people. The same set of people. So I told him to do this. And that I'm going to record this. So that my friend can bring out their own opinion. Because actually, seriously, I was confused. I didn't know what to tell him. I just had to tell him to involve these people. To see if they can allow her to go out of that family, at least to have peace of mind, assuring them that she's going to bring back their kids for them. Because we Africans, there's a way we reason. So, my dear, I'm going to play the, the, the recording now to you so that... You can hear him out to yourself and tell me what you think they should do. Because seriously, from how he sounded, I see that they really need this help. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And tell me from the comment below, tell me what you think and what they should do. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, please, I'm, I'm Mr. Lawrence. Okay. I'm calling from Abuja. Okay. I, I, I want to use this program of yours. Uh, I got a number through this, through the fact that it was kind of the story of your life. Yeah. And I'm really touched by it. Okay. So I, and I, I think I will need your help because I have a, a similar situation around me. All right. With my senior sister. And she's married. Okay. So I'm the husband is there. And the mother in law. And the, the sister. Okay. The sister, the, the young man, they are having my sitting. They are having to like a year ago now. Why? Right. Okay. So now I don't even really know what to do. Or should I go up there, bring my sister back home with the kids? Or. What do I even do? I don't even know how to start. So I thought I was going to watch the video. I got to the church and I decided to call for your help. If you can assist me on what to do, I will okay. be successful. So you just want me to tell you what to do? Uh, of course, I will be grateful if I would get an idea from you. All right. Actually, I recorded this call. Will you allow me to share it to let people know, hear what you said, and also share their views and uh, ideas with us? Of course, I don't think it's very big deal, but you try to kind of know how the balance does. Okay, that would be good. I don't think there's no big deal You can, you're free. All right, all right. Guys, you heard them all. You heard him clearly had everything you had what he said what do you think these people should do because from what i'm saying this lady is in bondage he, she's in pain she's suffering and need to be liberated what do you think they should do because firstly she have to come out of that family that is what me myself feel she have to come out of that family so be free to gain her freedom first so tell me from the comment box below comment tell me what you think they should do we really need to help her she needs our help thank you for your contribution thank you for your lovely ideas I appreciate don't forget this for the video love you